और अब बारी हमारे दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय के कुलपति प्रोफेसर योगेश सिंह जी को सुनने की जो आज के कार्यक्रम की अध्यक्षता कर रहे हैं सबसे पहले तो मुझसे पहले बहुत लोग बने हैं श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी कलकत्ता यूनिवर्सिटी के वाइस चांसलर थे जब वो 33 इयर्स के थे जिनके द्वारा बनाई पार्टी आज भारतीय जनता पार्टी उसके संस्थापक थे श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी और भी बहुत सारे लोग रहे होंगे मैंने थोड़ा क्लैरिफिकेशन देना ठीक समझा <laughs> नमस्ते गुड आफ्टरनून श्री श्याम सरन प्रेसिडेंट बोर्ड ऑफ ट्रस्टीज इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सेंटर एंड चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ टूडेज कॉन्फ्रेंस प्रोफेसर संगमित्रा बंदोपाध्याय डायरेक्टर इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट कोलकाता प्रोफेसर के एस राघवन फॉर्मर हेड एंड डीन डीआरटीसी डॉक्टर विकास गुप्ता रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी डॉक्टर उषा मुजू मुंशी चीफ लाइब्रेरियन इंडिया इंटरनेशनल सेंटर प्रोफेसर के पी सिंह डायरेक्टर गांधी भवन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली A very dynamic, popular personality. Honourable members of the Executive Council, Academic Council, Finance Committee, and other statutory bodies, principals of different institutions, head of the departments, respected faculty members, distinguished delegates, invited guests, officers, and officials of University of Delhi, my dear friends and students, good afternoon to all of you. Just now, a good news has come. NIRF, National Institutional Ranking Framework, rankings have been announced, and Delhi University has got sixth place in 2024 in university category. And last year, our rank was 11th. So this year, 11 to 6. as we all know in qs world university ranking delhi university has got 328th position globally and number 1 university in university category in india but our colleges are also doing very well out of 10 colleges 10 best colleges of our country just now they have declared 6 are from university of delhi Out of ten, six are from University of Delhi. First is Hindu. Second is Miranda. Last time Miranda was first. Hindu was second. थोड़ा बदल गया इस बार. Hindu first, Miranda second, Stephens third, ARST College fifth, Karoli Mal ninth, and Lady Shri Ram College for women tenth. Congratulations to all of you. It's a matter of pride, respect, and happiness to all of us. now now is the time to remember the contribution of dr s r ranganathan the first padma shri of university of delhi and a renowned scholar of library science this conference is organized to honor the 100th anniversary of dr s r ranganathan he was an outstanding scholar no doubt no debate on that he has done extremely extremely scholarly work and innovator of many strategies and tools of knowledge management that's why when uh, the department of library science and other associated organizations they wanted to honor him remember his contribution they decided to organize a, an international conference with a theme artificial intelligence for knowledge management artificial intelligence for knowledge management these two words are interconnected these two words are very very important and if they join together then many good things happens happened madam has explained the importance of artificial intelligence different applications 
uh, very, very effectively. But when we say the knowledge management, we use AI in knowledge management. It means improving content creation, content management, and content discoveries in many ways. Many things have changed. For example, when I was a postgraduate student of computer science, my, I gave a seminar on searching techniques of artificial intelligence. Kitte saal purani, 30 ek saal purani baat ho, ho gayi hogi. Or 20, 25 saal jitna bhi hua, main count nahi kar raha. Uh, the point is, I gave a seminar on uh, searching techniques of artificial intelligence. But today, Dr. Vikas Gupta, registrar of the university, came to me and said, "Sir, if you want to prepare your lecture today, just use WhatsApp." I said, no, no, I have to download chat GPT. Then it will take time. I have to learn so many things. I said, no, no, not required. You just use your WhatsApp and write that artificial intelligence and knowledge management and you will get something. It means what? A seminar given during postgraduate days and today I use the application and when I saw the content which was created by this uh, meta AI search using WhatsApp, I was thrilled to see that if we start using this, our effort will be reduced. We will get better content with no time at all. As we all know this, when we see the meta, we used to call it Facebook. Now Facebook purchase WhatsApp, Instagram. So this is a combo of uh, many, many applications of earlier Facebook, now meta. That's why they are calling it Meta AI Search. And it is very, very easy on WhatsApp. So uh, this is helping us. And learning has become very, very easy nowadays. If, if I remember the days, because we are talking about the library and the knowledge and knowledge management, knowledge creation. Like our father generations, when they were doing PhD, they wanted to have a research paper they would visit library if they find something interesting. They had no option but to write everything on the notebook, salient features, results, tables, graphs, whatever they want to do it, retain it, they have no option but to write it. When we were doing it, photocopiers were available. We were very, very comfortable. Iska copy kar do, iska copy kar do. Then we used to have large number of research papers with us, photocopies of those research papers. After that, digital word came. So our students, they don't have to do any photocopy thing, but, but they will only require as a pen drive to have thousands of research papers. But then if they have to extract something out of it, they have to go through everything. They have to spend time, learn things. After that, they will get some relevant things. But now, today I learned WhatsApp can also be used to generate contents. Because it's a new thing, today the content may not be that relevant or may not be that appropriate, but I am very hopeful that in coming years it will be more appropriate, more intelligently generated content. That's the beauty of new technology. We call it artificial intelligence. And McKinsey Research found that this generative AI features stand to add up $4.4 trillion in the global economy annually. See the power of this technology. $4.4 trillion in the world's economy annually. And India is a country of 140 crore people and our size of economy is about $4 trillion. It means what? More than the economy of India more than the GDP size of India. So many, many good things are happening. And AI is good for identifying patterns and relationships in data that might be overlooked by humans. It means what? Whenever we have to go for details, whenever we, go, whenever we need some precision of the data, this technique can be used and in many, many fields. Like for example, if I have to give an example, in 
detecting early stage cancer. Now, many applications have come in the market, doctors are using it because sometimes human eye and human minds, when it comes to precision, they have their own limitations. But with the help and support of uh, the technology, many, many things are happening to help the human beings and one example is the detecting early stage cancer. Prediction, data analysis, content creation, deep learning, machine learning and what not. I have told you that 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 I have that I have told you that I have told you that I Kitne din ke baad mein? Only five years. After five or six years, it is expected that we will, this area will add one trillion dollar in Indian economy. Our size is about four trillion dollar. See, more than twenty percent share will come because we have to work very hard. Indians are doing very well in this area, but if if we will keep on doing it, we can do wonders, and we have the capability and capacity to assume leadership in some of such areas. And if he fails to do so, if he fail to do so, the others who will follow us will not forgive us for our tardiness and negligence. We cannot. We missed many opportunities in past. When industrial revolutions took place, India could not take part. We have thousands of reasons to justify that the Britishers were ruling us. We, we are having many problems. So we could not take part. Understandably so also. But then IT revolutions took place in last century. Indians participated, did very well, but India could not do that well. But now in 21st century, things which are emerging out of artificial intelligence, we have the capability and right environment to assume leadership. That's why my dear students, we should take it very, very seriously, not only for ourselves, but also for our country. New tools will come up for knowledge management. It is now, it is just the beginning, just the beginning. So challenges are also there for library system. Challenges are there for teaching learning processes also. This area and the best thing is this area will also generate quality jobs. Everywhere there is hue and cry about jobs. People feel that we don't have, if we have job, those jobs are low end jobs. We need high end jobs and this area will create good number of high end jobs also and a leadership position in the global AI supply chain will create more jobs. That's why we should focus on AI revolution. I just want to share one data that India generates 20% of the world data right now. 20, ho, hum kitne hai? 18% hai in the dunia ki population ke. Or we are generating 20% of world data, jitne hai, utne hi kar rahe generate. But we host only 2% of the data centers of the world right now. It means what? Itna generate kar rahe, but we don't have the mechanisms for storage. We are dependent on uh, the this, uh, this servers installed elsewhere. That's why now time has come to take action in such areas also so that we will be able to preserve, protect our data in our country. That's why next 20 years are very, very important to become true tech power. India should become a technology power. We cannot afford to be on periphery. We cannot afford to be complacent. It is a time for bold actions and big dreams. Time is right. We have right kind of ecosystem in our country. We have good number of success stories also. Many success stories are inspiring young and bright minds of our country. So we have now time to act now. AI will probably be one of the biggest wealth creating sector for our country. One of the biggest. Second is energy. First is this area, artificial intelligence, knowledge management, knowledge creation, and second will be energy. So both the areas will provide quality jobs to Indians. But here there is a challenge. Because when we, uh, when we go for any search, how can we remove linguistic barriers? This is a challenge. Because when we talk about the Bharati Gyan Parampara, when we talk about uh, many such things, then those are in Sanskrit, Pali, Prakrit, one aspect. Second is, we India is rich of languages. 
we have so many indian languages but when it comes to the search right now there are uh, many many challenges time has come to think about that how can we remove this linguistic barrier if we are able to do so then this will be more meaningful for indians and uh, then that model can be replicated in other countries also but pri primarily in today's environment it is based on english language and and one and few other languages because if you go for translation also then also this linguistic barrier kai bar hota hai arth ka anarth karta hai it's a challenge and advancement in ai and ict will widely used for organizational change in knowledge management but we have to change our mindset or mindset of the people responsible for knowledge management that is essential for the success 21st century is the century for change century of change century for change but you know first of all we have to condition our mindset that we are ready for change and this conference will provide foundations for such a change this conference should discuss uh, such things and create a right kind of mindset that we are ready for change we are ready to accept new technology ready to accept uh, uh, new uh, uh, new frameworks uh, new applications which are available in the market and which will come very soon so my good wishes for the success of the conference and i am thankful to uh, professor k p singh and his team for organizing such a good uh, conference and he, because he is a very methodical person maine aate hi kaha yaar tum bahut acha banate ho idhar bhi hai idhar bhi hai nahi to kya hota hai ulta ho jata hai to dikhta nahi hai uske baad bahut acha acha sa inhone sab banaya hua hai so he is master of many things he has done very well my thanks to professor k p singh thank you very much